Hey guys, guys, welcome back to another monster video. So in today's video, I'm going to be reviewing the monster slab to rank four, a level 140. This monster was obtainable in the previous race, and that's the race I actually scored over 70,000 points. Today, I'm gonna go ahead and hatch this monster, feed it up, take it to battle as well, show you guys the best skills, the best runes, everything you need to know about this mythic monster. So I hope you guys are excited. If you are, make sure you drop a like, subscribe. Anyways, let's go on and get started. So ladies and gentlemen, we got the monster slab here, and I've had this monster in my hatchery for quite a while. So take a look at this tanky guy um so it's at rank four and i have three slots open luckily <laughs> that's pretty sweet right um so now i don't have to really spend any gems sadly i clicked and skipped the animation but it's all right it's fine so he has taunt really good having access to taunt that's pretty good we get me to control okay that's as, as a trade 50 percent shield status gets her aoe wow I really like the traits, I've got to say. And the life right there, that is insane. 139,942. What is it at? Oh my gosh, almost 400,000 without any runes. Isn't that insane? Oh man. Yeah, this monster's stats are just way too good. I, I like that. I do like his life. That's that's pretty good. Um. Oh yeah, I forgot they actually made that update. I was like, what the heck? So the name, now whenever you hatch your monsters... What happens is that they get their actual name named there. So of course you can change that if you want to, but it's something that they recently like made a change about. Um, so all your monsters is now on when you hatch them, they'll have their original name. Like for example, Slab, as you guys can see, Slab up there. So anyways, we are gonna go under 100 million food and we got it to rank four here, almost rank five. Not there just yet, but at rank 4, this is your stats. I really like the life because it's pretty high. I really like the traits as well, so this is a good start. Let's take a look at the skills. This monster has access to a denial skill, which is stun. Medium shield to himself, and while you're dealing some damage, which is a heavy metal damage. What else we got? 100% life shield and skill mirror to itself. Ooh, I like me some shield. Alright, we also got a AoE moderate metal damage. It comes with daze and 30% life shield to itself. Eh, might as well. Let's see what else we got. Skill mirror to itself. Are you kidding me? Just a skill. <laughs> oh my god, it's not even spammable. You can go with the 100% life shield though if you want. Or damage section. This also could come in handy. This is spammable. I'll probably have to go with this one, honestly. Uh, we already have a skill mirror here. So, I'm gonna keep that. But then this... It's just separate and it's spammable. So of course you can go with the skill mirror if you want. Or you can go with the AoE skill or the 100% life shields. You know, those are there if you want to equip them. But me personally, I think I'm going to run something like this. So one single target, one AoE. And the other one is AoE. Last one is a single target. So two single targets, one AoE. And they're mainly support. Alright, it's a metal tank. So will he replace Cuberion? We don't know. We're about to find out. Let's take a look at the runes. Um, so for runes, I recommend giving in two life with one team speed, or you can do triple team speed, or you can do one life and two team speed. So I'm gonna go ahead and steal some runes here and there from some of these monsters. And so I stole one life rune, and I'm gonna go ahead and grab maybe two team speeds. So let me see who's actually carrying two team speeds here. For example, this Gahizol that I just recently used in war. I'm gonna go ahead and steal these runes from him or her. And what we're going to do is give it to this tank. So what I'm going to do is run the two dodge area with one taunt combo. This is pretty, pretty, um, what's it called? Good and also popular. So bottom Melter armor works for him. You can also do this or the Tertullian armor. Both of them works. But me personally, I'm going to go with this Recha armor. Um, and then we are going to give it a good talent. Maybe 50% damage mirror. That's actually not that bad because the monster's a tank, right? It's going to be taking single damage and on top of that there's 50% shield helping him and on top of that you have the boar which kicks in straight away when the turn starts and it applies damage mirror for one turn pretty good right so you can do something like that so i'm gonna go ahead and run this team we're gonna go ahead and fight i'm in like legendary two league right now so i should be seeing 150 still okay that works too i guess um let's see how this battle goes hopefully that cupid is not super fast Actually, it doesn't even matter. It really doesn't. Because I'm gonna lose this battle. I can't do anything. Yeah, sadly I can't. Um, so I can do 50,000 volts. Take you down. You're gonna come back. And I'm gonna go ahead and do like a dark assault. See, sadly I can't really do anything because... <laughs> because of that. You know, evasion. Helping him. So <laughs> I can't really win this battle, sadly. 
Uh, but if there was no, of course, evasion, this would have worked out very easily. Sadly, there was evasion protecting that monster, so I couldn't really do anything. I have no PER on my team, that's why. Oh my gosh, another! Are you kidding me? There's so many of these guys. Alright, maybe I, could, I should maybe add, like, a PER to my team. Uh, speaking of PER, that's actually uh, kind of like a counter or something that kind of uh, you have to watch out from for this monster. Because he mainly applies positive status effects, like the intersection that comes with shield, you know, status casters. Shield, as you guys can see. So, PER will be, like, a huge counter towards this monster, in a way, if you think about it. Um, so, if I give them... Oh my gosh, I can't do anything. They have evasion. That slumster just went in, took in the first unit that that. Alright, so the 100 or 50% damage mirror just kicked in from the shield, or the talents, right? So, what I can do is 100% shield and skill mirror. So, now I have skill mirror, and on top of that, I also have damage... Not damage section, what is it called? Damage mirror. So, that monster had, you know... What's, uh, what's it called? It had um, evasion, so that damage didn't really kick in until, of course, later, Vada Melter kicked in, as you guys can see. So now I can basically go ahead and destroy him, apply curse to that monster, and we can do 50k volts, 20k volts, and we can do, like, Dark Assaults. Let's actually mess around with Slumster. I'm gonna go ahead and charge up. Package bomb. Okay, so he went ahead and PR'd, but then the talent or relic actually kicked in, which was the Vada Melter armor and dealt so much damage. So when it comes out to a situation like this, you can either put up like a damage section or a shield, or you can go ahead and just attack. And this one actually comes with shield as well, and it comes with stun. The stun won't land because of course the monster is immune to control, just like Slab himself. But uh, yeah, we're just going to go ahead and finish it up just like that. So I would say solid. he's pretty solid, you know, Slab is actually pretty solid. What can I say? He definitely fits in the meta. Um, I can definitely see him, you know, being used in the meta because I like his traits, uh, status caster that comes with it. And on top of that, like everything else, like it's just really good. Alright, let's see how this battle goes. I'll definitely lose it. Yeah, I can't do anything. <laughs> uh, they all have evasion as well. And the most important part, anticipation. Evasion and anticipation. That really sucks. Um, so maybe add like a PR to this base, to this setup that I have right here, and then you'll be fine. Alright, like imagine Elgato with this dispelling fist. <laughs> Don't do that by the way. We're gonna do triple damage here. Finish you off just like that, with one tap. Oops, never mind, I thought I was gonna finish you off, there we go. That takes you down. And we are going to take down, of course, Voltic, because if we don't take down Voltic, it's gonna suck. Or we can maybe let Voltic get a turn in. How about that? Um, I'm thinking about maybe doing Dark Shocks here. And then we can do the Dark Assault. Let's just take down Ural fully. I'm gonna let Voltic survive, okay? And we're gonna see um, if, you know, Slab can actually help and survive, you know, maintain all that damage. I mean, they're, they're a shock anyway, but let's just see that one damage. <laughs> Look at that. He barely dealt anything. The 50% shield helped me out, and on top of that, Vada Meltor's armor kicked in, and there goes the boar talent as well. So here, what I can do is just go ahead and attack him, and also put up some shields as well, just like that. So he's, he's, he's a pretty good tank, I've got to say. I like his skills, I like his traits, and I like his life stat. So um, I've got to say this monster, again, it will be... Um, it would be definitely be you know used especially like in pvp and team wars i can already see the monster being used let me see if anybody here is actually running it they'll probably run um that other monster the megatont you know from the golden legends pass they'll probably run that over him so who's better let's just say that the megaton from the legends pass you know king adam or boar right or whatever his name is um i would say the Megatons, of course, from the Legends Pass. But this one is actually pretty solid as well. He's not that bad, I gotta say. It's pretty good. So, yeah. Um, let me know in the comments below what you guys think about Slab. And make sure to slab that like button as well. And slab that subscribe button. Okay, that was maybe cringe a little. <laughs>